Hi guys, welcome back again to this channel about jobs. Today I'm going to sharing about uh, in Indonesia requirements. It's uh, latest job requirements. So if you are interested for these jobs and if you are looking for a job in Indonesia, then this whole video will be helpful for you. So please keep watching this video up to end. So let's start. Uh, the position is GIS coordinator. The nature conference the organization TNC, and this location is Indonesia. I hope uh, the Indonesia, you know already that Indonesia is a Asian country. So I would like to share you the information about the positions and the basic requirements to apply for these jobs and the applying process everything. So let's start. GIS coordinator, the Nature Conservancy, TNC Indonesia. And also they have a website, debnetjobs.org. Office location, Samarinda, Indonesia. So this is a place in Indonesia and they provide some information like uh, all requirements. So you need to know that before you apply for these jobs and just I would like to share you a little introductions. Founded in uh, one, uh, 1951, the Nature Conservancy is global conservation organizations dedicated to conserving the lands and waters on which all of it depends guided by the since we create initiative on the ground solutions to our world's Protest challenges to show that nature and people can thrive together. We are tackling climate change, conservation lands, waters, and oceans at unprecedented scales, providing food and water sustainability and helping make societies more sustainable. So, the, the information is about the organizations. So, it's a uh, important also. So, you just uh, look uh, and you do, just go to the description under the video. I already provided all the information. So, before you apply, you should know that. So, I am giving a little introduction about this because the, if you will describe all the things, then video will be long. So, let's uh, finish with a little introduction about the organizations. They have uh, also websites you can see here. Okay, so you can visit these websites and you will know that uh, all information about these organizations. So let's start coming to another point your position with TNC. Position is GIS coordinator, manages and maintains conservation database and provides technical support in GIS or other relational database technologies to conservation staff. So that means this is your job responsibility. If you will be appointed as a GIS coordinator, then your responsibility will be manage and maintain conservation database and provides technical supports in GIS or other relational database technologies to conservation staff. So next come to another point essential function what, do, what is the work function this is very very vital for you if you will get this job so what will be your work functions they already mentioned so the GIS coordinator manages and maintains a conservation database and provides technical support in GIS or other relational database plus to conservation staff it includes compiling as a compiling assembling and maintaining land protections on biodiversity and management information from various sources this may also include one or more of the following functions so they mentioned the all functions or functions point by point so i'd like to share you some little points uh, practice in conservation planning at various levels develops methods for mapping and classifying assessment and data management includes developing and maintaining all recommendation for data and data management performs data analysis designs and produces advanced complex queries and professional reports process strategy, special and uh, other relational data sets derived derived from cartographic and regular source material so before you apply for these jobs you should know all the points this is all about work functions of these positions so next come to another point also responsibility i would like to tell you some important points uh, about the responsibilities of these jobs so supervise and uh, staffs and uh, has the uh, ability to motivate lead set objectives and manage performance including conflict resolutions so you have to super, uh, like a supervisor like this you have to manage the all staffs uh, with the uh, motivate lead uh, set objectives etc next point may help develop and manage work plans and large project projects may negotiate and contract with vendors ensure integrity of both data collections and management related to conservation projects and project strategies under limited supervision acts independently reserves complex issues with the program area and may act as a resource to others 
that means this will be your work function you should know that before applying for these jobs so i am telling you again and again if you facing problem uh, to understand this video please go to the descriptions under the video already all information is there you can read it careful there and you will know all the information about these jobs minimum qualifications for these jobs this is very important and this is all candidates should be know that what is the qualifications to apply for these jobs that is bs degree and certification in related field and three years related experience that means you have a bs degree in the post of coordinator and you have minimum of three year experience or equivalent combination of education and experience in geography city and other related geosciences so experience managing maintaining and population database and manual files so you should know that people who are applying for these jobs you have a bs degree and certification in related field and three years minimum of experience and you have to managing maintaining and populating database and manual files experience with the interpretation of image analysis complex spatial analysis and data modeling and landscape scenario analysis experience managing multiple projects experience operating gis software analyzing data and producing data reports and creating maps experience operating remote sensing software such as and be and others experience supervising staff experience interpreting results then developing and delivering training experience with microsoft word excel and access and browsers so this is a very very important you should have a capacity capacity to manage this post so you should have a degree of ps and you should have all experience they mention then only you can apply so don't be worried uh, if you are a professional to these positions as i already told you this position is gis coordinator so as a coordinator you should have to professional you should have to qualifier you should have a capacity capable so then only you can apply so next come to another point desired qualifications three to five years related experience or equivalent combinations of education and experience in geography forestry or other related geosciences demonstrated experience in the following areas interpretation of image analysis complex spatial analysis data modeling and landscape scenario analysis so this is very very important to applying for this job you should have a capacity you should have a capability so next come to another point this point is very very important how to apply okay all every time uh, i have observing so many candidates confusing how to apply please take my document and apply dear i cannot apply for you you have to apply by yourself because the employer need a qualifications and need the experience also need a application from you not from not from me so you have to apply don't be confused don't be comments that please apply for me no this is not possible i already provided you all information the applying process you should have to follow this and you should have to have to apply by yourself so next come to another point how to apply this is applying process now to apply to position number seven four seven one three one submit resume required and cover letter separately using the upload button so if you already watch my previous videos i already introduced about the cover letter and cv i think you have no doubt about this still i am i would like to tell again cv you have to make prepare professional and cover letter if you don't know what is cover letter go to the google inbox and search how to make a cover letter to apply for a job in indonesia then the some format will come you have to follow this format and you have to make your own cover letter by this format then only you can send by cv so you have to send your cv and cover letter both all application must be submit in the system prior 11 59 pm eastern time of december 20 so this is they already mentioned december 20 but you can send because till now they already receiving the applications to interview to take interview so i think it's january onwards it will be start for the process so next come to another point click submit to apply for the positions or save uh, for later to create draft application for future submission so uh, i think you have a question that how to apply by mail or by website don't worry i will tell you please keep watching this click submit to apply for the positions or save for later to create a draft applications for future submission one submitted application cannot be revised or edited failure to be complete equal fields may result in your applications being disqualified from consideration if you experience technical issues please refer to our applicant use guide or contact 
applyhelp.at.tnc.org. The nature conversion is equal opportunity employer. Our commitment to deliberately increase the recognition that our conservation mission is best advanced by the leadership and construction of men and women of religious backgrounds. So, the successful applicants must be meet the requirements of nature conservancy background screening process. So, you should have to open this website. First, go to the descriptions under the video. You will get this link. Open this link by Chrome or Mozilla browser. Then, there will be an option coming for to apply. Then, you have to drop your CV and cover letter. As they mentioned, to apply the positions number, this will submit resume and cover letter separately. So, you have to submit separately the CV and cover letter in this websites. So, this is the applying process. Don't be confused. Again, I would like to tell you, this applying process is, you have to make prepare your CV and cover letter with uh, all uh, First, you check that you are professionally, as a coordinator, you can work, you have three years experience and your certificate is the employer requirement matching. Then, she makes prepare CV and cover letters. Then, go to this websites and as they mentioned, submit resume and cover letter separately. You have to separately submit by this date. So, don't be worried for that. You can apply, but I um, might suggest uh, do it quickly as soon as possible. So, then you will get a notify when your CV will be certified. So, friends, I hope this information will be needful for you. And I hope this all information I am sharing, this will be helpful for your career. And it's needful for your employee and employment requirements. So, I would like to tell you many many thanks for your valuable time for watching this video up to end. In the next video, I will share you some other countries' latest jobs, latest requirements. So please keep watching my all videos. And if you think this is genuine information, if you think this is video will be needful for you, this is a, this channel is very very important for you. Then please subscribe and press the bell button to get notifications the latest requirements or latest jobs from other countries so friends god bless you thank you